What's up you guys? This is Breaking News on the third store one down, Breaking Hollywood Home on a Budget. And before I get to the breaking news, I just want to say right off the bat, I wasn't planning on filming anything new in September because I just spent all of last month breaking my back, prepping, filming, and shooting, and editing the entire Back to School series here on this channel. It's an adaptation of PBS is a place of our own, which itself is a terrific standalone program that I watched every single day in my single digit years. But I like to think of this adaptation as a fun, equally practical, equally helpful, and I think more awesome, a supplement or counterpoint. So uh, definitely subscribe and click the bell to get alerts because the new video is going up every day in September. Anyway, this breaking news absolutely mandates that this issue J14 get reviewed. It was purchased for 45 cents, 50 percent off the price of 99 cents. It's from January 2017. Retail price is 4.99. This is their Hot 100 issue. And listen up, because this is incredible. This is mind-boggling. The boss of Riverdale, Roberto Sacasa. I know I'm not a huge Riverdale guy. Who is around here? But listen, sources tell the Hollywood Reporter. Link below for the article for the full deeps that he is penning the script to a potential reboot for HBO Max of Pretty Little Liars! This is incredible! Now, this announcement was made and it was, you know, met with a lot of anticipation but an equal amount of aggravation within the PLL fandom. Not a lot of people in this fandom, myself included, have taken a particular liking to Riverdale. But I have to give Roberto a decent amount of respect for working for one season at the very least with Lucy Hale right here, iconic TV actress, so voted on by J14 readers, thank you. Uh, for Katie Keene, you know, one of the Riverdale spinoffs. Again, that lasted only one season. For every Hot 100 issue, you can always find this Icon Award section right here. Iconic TV actress right here. One of our best stuff, Cameron, by the way. Uh, Descendants Live in Maddie, anyone? Did PLO make the cut in the Icon Awards? Oh, it most certainly did. Again, Iconic TV actress. But if it was up to me, you know, I can't argue with Lucy Hale. Ari Montgomery is a legend. But if it was up to me, Far and away, I would be choosing Troy and Belisario. <sighs> the love of my life. Pretty Little Liars fans are as dedicated as ever when it comes to our Teen Icon Awards. That's for sure. Flip the page 24 to see which awards Lucy and her PLL co-stars grabbed this year. Please. Plus, see what other stars you chose as your Icon Award winners. So, let's jump into that from the get-go. Iconic TV series. Pretty Little Liars. Hello! And of course, you got the whole cast represented here. Aww, same image as my pinup in one of my uh, magazines, which you will see on a special edition of TSR's Place of Our Own. What if the liars were your peer counselors in high school or college? Uh, that was one of the best videos I have shot all month long in August. So, once again, you gotta share your gut. Who is that? Come on, come on, come on. Yes, Ashley. But Benjo! You got Hannah and Emily. Right now, I'm so excited. I can't even remember things right now. Of course, you got in the middle, my baby, Spencer Hastings. My everything. Of course, there's Aria, the iconic TV actress that's so voted by J14 readers. And then you got, um, of course, the head liar, Allison Dino, and to Sasha Pitiesa. She holds a very special place in my heart, for I having met her twice in my home type of New Jersey and those are memories I will never ever forget. It was a journey in miraculous taste and definitely check out that playlist. Link below. Other icons being voted on are Sean Mendes, Selenator, Selena Gomez's fandom, Fifth Harmony, Gigi and Zane. By the way, kudos on the first baby. Um, also, a couple of YouTubers represented as well. Moving on, we have one PLL birthday in December, and that would be on the 18th. That is, of course, the birthday of the beloved Ashley Benson, 
television's sexiest fictional female comedian, Hannah Marin. And of course, wondering my birthday? The 2nd of December. Same date as Charlie Puth and Britney Spears. Ah, how about that? I share a birthday with the, I'm sorry, Queen Bitch. No, it's Britney Bitch. Ay, ay, ay. This is the 100, Hot 100, to watch out for in 2017. An honorable mention goes to Sophia Carson. Yes, Evie in The Descendants, but to me, Ava Jalali in The Perfectionist, the PLL spinoff, for which I hold her in the utmost regard. She is an absolute babe. Uh, plenty of YouTubers mentioned it here too, from Eva Gutowski to Daspia, and yes, Tyler Oakley too. And yes, I have the binge book coming very soon, so don't worry about that. Finally, the hot list, which is standard in every J14 issue. Hottest guy, or Sean Mendes. What else? Hottest girl, Zendaya. I can't argue with that either. I mean, Euphoria on HBO is drawing massive ratings and Emmy nominations, including her very first lead actress in a drama series. This month, we'll find out if she takes home the gold or not. However, Lucy Hale, even though she was voted Iconic TV Actress by the J14 and PLL Faithful, she placed third in the hottest goal ranking, 16%. My goodness, close but no cigar. Hmm. Fifth place, Sophia Carson with 8%. Ava Jalali, but that's just, if you place Shay Mitchell on this, let's see, would easily rank 2 or 1. Uh, Troy and Belisario, hello, number 1, always. So... Not a lot of PLL picks in here to be found, like, I guess only three, one, and then we have another Lucy Hale pick, and then the PLL pick as a whole, that counts as three. So not a lot of PLL content in here, but this is the only other PLL related item that I had in my library. Everything else has been reviewed. In fact, there are nearly 90 plus videos in the Rosewood playlist, the Rosewood Roundup, not 90 plus, nearly 90 videos. I'm sorry, I'm just so psyched. Once again, link below for the Hollywood Report article. This gets four out of five claps. The cover's a little bit torn down here, but all in all, I was pleased to have gotten this. And for 44 cents, I mean, pocket change for anything pretty low liars? Come on. I'm living proof that you can score a magnificent show like this on a budget. Hello, have you seen my reaction to finding this at the thrift store? Check out the Wolfswood Roundup playlist. Subscribe to this channel for further updates on the reboot. I'm willing to give it a shot. I encourage all in the PLR fandom like me to give it a shot. But Roberto, listen up. If you do anything to wreck the legacy of our beloved liars, we will find you and you will never walk in this town again. Everybody, thanks for watching. The next PLL video you will see on this channel will be on my Place of Our Own Back to School series later this month. The Liars as our peer counselors. That's going to be a great video. I'll catch you on the fifth side, and of course, two can keep a secret if one of them is dead. That would be you, Roberto, if you wreck our beloved Liars legacy. Okay, just kidding. But your career will be dead. Your career will be vanquished. Don't. Mess it up!